Assalamualaikum, my name is Ainu Yusra binti Muhammad Zawawi. In this video, I will explain about lab test for oil and wear debris analysis. So this is the case study um, for this lab test and figure 1 is the gearbox and figure 2 okay for task number 1 I have choose a brand of gear um, candle industrial gear oil and this is the properties um, the AST TM is D one hundred one thousand and five hundred. The ISO grade is one hundred and fifty for the centistoke at forty degrees Celsius is one hundred and fifty. Four hundred degrees Celsius is fourteen point four. And this is the benefit candle gear oil, which is which are high load carrying capacity to prevent scratches and wear, excellent oxidation resistance. There are six benefits altogether. For task 2, um, based on figure 1, uh, the gearbox condition, uh, its wear condition is ad adhesive wear. Adhesive wear is also known as sliding or scuffing wear, um, which explain when Two nominally flat solid are in sliding contact, whether they are lubricated or not, adhesive wear will occur. However, since lubricants cannot avoid metal-to-metal -metal contact, the sliding motion under load will emit a large amount of frictional heat. When gears are separated, these rough grades of micro welds can be broken down. Adhesive wear will be noticeable um, on each of corresponding regions. As the material is transplanted from on one side of the gear to another. For task 2, based on oil properties and spef specification of oil in task 1, the type of oil properties that might be important to begin oil anal analysis process of gearbox oil is viscosity. Uh, the benefit of oil viscosity with higher viscosity index are general rise in viscosity at higher temperatures resulting in lower oil consumption and, le and less wear um, and also decrease viscosity at lower temperatures which will increase starting at lower fuel consumption. For task 3, the standard test method is as ASTM D6596 and this is the apparatus okay and the test procedure turn on the spectral spectral Q100 on the PC before the experiment started always pre prepare several disks before start the lab session always clean and wrote before using it and then mm, and then clean the lens of uh, the spectral Q100 by using the window cleaning solution before analysis and next push the disc with firm pressure until it rests against the index shoulder of the shaft and then um Sharpen the road with a sharpener and then push the lever up and gently rest the road on the desk. And then take the oil sample and then put the sample cap into it, the sample cup holder and then put the oil with proper level and then close the door and then start push button and then the burn process started and then for task 5 
I will explain the um, next step um, if the result analysis obtained are abnormal and out of control, which is the gearbox uh, failure. If the result analysis um, abnormal, immediate action is needed to avoid any unwanted accident. The result of the test method will cause abnormal to gear oil. Um, first step. Taken an oil sample from the failed gearbox and perform another analysis, and then ensure that the oil meets OEM specifications. Um, next, uh, next step is um, the oil may contain evidence for finding the root uh, cause of failure. Where debris in oil may help indicate failure modes in the gearbox and reveal the contaminant that caused the failure. Other test methods that use uh, to monitor abnormal gearbox uh, which were include iron density, particle counting which is SCM D7647 and analytical fer ferrite analysis which is SCM D7908 and, and 90. And then the direct reading ferromagnetic photography method is an iron density test used to measure the amount of uh, iron where there is in oil sample.